Yo, what is up everybody, welcome back to my channel and in today's video I'm going to show you guys how you can fix slow boot times and make your PC start up faster. So let's get right into the video. Okay, so before we start with this video, as you guys can see, only 0.6% of you guys is subscribed to my channel. Let's just go ahead and scroll down and make that red subscribe button great because that would really mean a lot to me. So let's get right into the video. Okay, so now just a quick thing. If you want to know how fast your PC is actually booting, you can right click on the taskbar and click task manager and go over on the startup. And over here, you can see it last BIOS time, 12.4 seconds in my case. And you just want to go through all these steps and look if it is any better. If not, just let me know in the comments and I'll try to help you out. Okay, so before we go through any of these methods, I just want to let you guys know that if you have an HDD and you have some money left, I just really recommend buying an SSD because that will definitely improve your PC's performance. It will make your PC a lot faster and especially make it boot a lot faster. So just consider buying an SSD and let's get right into the first method. Okay, so the first thing that can cause a slow boot up time is a full disk or a disk with almost no space. So so you can check that by opening file explorer and going over onto this pc and then just look if any of these are red in my case they are both red so i have to free up some space and a good way to do that to free up some space is by right clicking on your recycle bin and click empty recycle bin click yes and just refresh this and as you can see i already got 400 megabytes more but that's not really enough for it to be blue so yeah you really want this to be blue otherwise this can really slow down your pc you want to look for the one that has this little windows icon because that one especially will slow down your pc if it doesn't have much space left an extra drive doesn't really matter but this one especially this one uh, makes the difference in your boot time so you want to go ahead and free up some space for that drive another way to free up some space is by clicking on properties then go ahead and click on disk cleanup and select anything that you don't need anymore so just check every single one of them and just click ok click delete files and there we go we just freed up some space it's not really enough yet but I know for a fact that it does not slow down my um, disk because I still do have 36 gigabytes free. So just make sure you have enough free space because if you have like one gigabyte free space that will slow your PC down dramatically. So just free up some space and let's get right into the next method. Okay, so for this method, we want to go ahead and go over onto our power settings. You can do that by searching for power is settings in the search bar and open it up. Then you want to go over onto additional power settings and you want to click on choose what the power button does. And now something really important, if you want to, um, if you just use your PC like every single day, I recommend putting this onto sleep and not shut down. But if you, oh, I mean shut down. And if you don't really use your PC that much, I just recommend leaving it on shutdown. This just completely shuts your PC off and sleep is just like making it not completely turn off, but just run in the background and it doesn't really use that much power. So I recommend just putting this on sleep unless you don't really use your PC that much. But we are here for this option. So what you want to do is click change settings that are currently unavailable. And you'll be able to uncheck this. Now I know this says turn on fast startup, but for some people this actually slows it down. So you want to go ahead and uncheck this and check if your PC boots any faster. And if it doesn't, just turn this back on and click save changes. Make sure to, uh, when you uncheck it, make sure to press save changes before you reboot your PC because otherwise it won't be applied. So I'm just going to leave this on because I know for a fact that it does not slow down my PC, but it can be different for you just so let's just go ahead and head over into the next method okay so something else that can slow down your pc is um startup programs that are running in the background now you can turn those off by going over onto your task manager and go over onto the startup menu and these are all the programs that run on your startup now you want to disable any of these that you don't use the ones that you use like for example i use spotify a lot so i have this enabled so if you don't want this to start up when you boot your pc you just want to right click on it and press disable and there you go you just want to go over 
and go through this list and just look for every single one and make sure you don't use it and then just go ahead and disable them because this will dramatically improve your boot up time if you have a lot of these enabled so let's get right into the next method okay so something else that can slow down your pc's boot time is actually a broken or a corrupted or an outdated version of a graphics driver so what you want to do is you want to make sure that you have the latest one available okay if you have nvidia you want to go ahead and open your nvidia experience um, software and just update to your latest driver and if you haven't installed that yet just go over onto google and i'll put the link in the description to a download page for nvidia's experience and that's where you can update your driver now, if you don't have nvidia and you have radeon just like i do you want to click on here right click on this radeon icon and click open radeon software and then just go over here, driver and software and click check for updates. But as you can see, there is an update available. So I'm just going to download that later, but you want to install this, download and install it and reboot your PC and check if it boots any faster. So that was basically it for this video. Now go ahead and check on the task manager if it boots any faster. If it doesn't, let me know in the comments and I'll try to help you guys out. See you guys in the next video. Peace out. Thank you.